Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Quarantino Trivia, the fourth edition. As always, we have a great game in store for you tonight. Here's how it's going to work. There's going to be two rounds. Each round will consist of ten questions. Each question will be worth one point. At the end of those two rounds, we're going to have a bonus question for you. You can wager from zero to ten on that bonus question. The person with the most points at the end of both rounds and the bonus question will be crowned the Quarantino Champion. Do you have what it takes to be the champion? Let's get down to round number one. Let's do it. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow. <laughs> Round one, tongue-tied Tino. These are gonna be tongue twister related trivia questions. And you'll quickly see what I mean by that. Let's get into it. Round one, question number one. Sally usually sells them by the seashore, but today she's traveling to this African nation located in the Indian Ocean. Round one, question number one. Sally usually sells seashells by the seashore. The African nation sounds the same, essentially Seychelles. S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S. Seychelles, seashells, tomato, tomato. Seychelles, the correct answer to number one. Round one, question number two. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled these peppers. The hottest in the world, coming in at 2,200,000 Scoville units. What is that pepper? Round one, question number two. Needless to say, this pepper is not very fun to consume, coming in at 2,200,000 Scoville units. The hottest pepper in the world is the Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper, the correct answer for number two. Round one, question number three. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. If Fuzzy Wuzzy was a polar bear, what color would Fuzzy Wuzzy's skin be? Round one, question number three. A white polar bear, you'd think maybe his skin would be white, and if it wasn't white, maybe like a pinkish tone? No. Many of you have probably seen the horrifying picture of a shaved polar bear where his skin was actually black. Polar bears have black skin behind all that white fur. Surprise? Me too. Black skin, the correct answer is number three. Round one, question number four. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? The name woodchuck actually coming from the word wooshuck, having nothing to do with wood, was created by this Native American tribe. Round one, question number four. Somewhere along the road, Wooshock turned into Woodchuck. It's kind of lost how it got there, but the tribe that coined the phrase Wooshock were the Algonquins. Algonquin, the correct answer to number four. Round one, question number five. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Which president is credited with making ice cream popular in the United States? Who is that president? Mm -hmm. 
Round one, question number five. It was president number three. Thomas Jefferson liked the taste of ice cream, and his like for it grew across the nation as it became popularized through the entire United States. Thomas Jefferson, the correct answer for number five. Round one, question number six. Six check cricket critics. In the game of cricket, what is it called when the batter hits the equivalent of a home run? Meaning the ball clears the fence before touching the ground. What's it called? Round one, question number six. Question number six, six check cricket critics. It's called a six. When a batter hits the ball over the fence, the equivalent of a home run, it's called the six. For question number six, the six check cricket critics. <laughs> six, the correct answer for number six. Round one, question number seven, 11 benevolent elephants. How many recognized species of elephant are there in the world? Round one, question number seven. Elephants are located on two continents, Asia and Africa. However, there are two separate African species of elephant to the one species of Asian elephant. Three species in total. Three, the correct answer for number seven. Round one, question number eight. Which witch is which? In which Shakespearean play would you find three witches or weird sisters who hold a striking resemblance to the three fates of classical mythology? Which play? Round one, question number eight. Double, double, toil and trouble. The Scottish tragedy Macbeth is where the three witches are from. That's the Shakespearean play Macbeth. The correct answer. Round one, question number nine. Six sleek swans swam swiftly southwards. What is it called when birds fly south for the winter? Round one, question number nine. The term used to describe birds flying south for the winter, migration. Migration, the correct answer for number nine. Round one, question number 10. And the final question of the first round, cooks cook cupcakes quickly, a television show that follows sisters and business partners, Sophie and Catherine, as they run a cupcakery in what US city? Round one, question number 10. If you knew the name of the cupcakery, you were easily able to identify the city it was located in. Georgetown Cupcake, the cupcakery. Georgetown, Washington, D.C. The correct answer for number 10, Washington, D.C. How did you do in round number one? Tally up those points, get ready, because we are on to round number two. Round number two, Sportino. This is gonna be a round dedicated to sports trivia. We're gonna put those sports brains to the test. Let's get it started. Question number one. Do you have a perfect score? Probably not tonight. In what city did the miracle on ice take place?
Round two, question number one. Herb Brooks and his USA hockey team defeated the Soviet Union in 1980 in Lake Placid. Lake Placid, the correct answer to number one. Round two, question number two. This one's not a six. This is an actual home run, swinging for the fences. Who holds the record for most home runs in a single season? Round two, question number two. In 1998, Mark McGuire hit 70 home runs in a single season. 2001, Barry Bonds broke that record when he hit 73. 73 home runs in a single season is still the record for most in a season. Barry Bonds, the correct answer to number two. Round two, question number three. There have been five countries that have been present in every modern Summer Olympic Games. However, only one country has participated under their own flag in every summer modern Olympic Games. What is that country? Round two, question number three, Great Britain has been present in every modern Summer Olympic Games. However, they have participated alongside a joint Ireland team. France has had someone represented on the United States team. Switzerland has boycotted an Olympics. And Australia has joined up with New Zealand. There's only been one country that has participated in every modern Summer Olympic Games under their own flag, and it happens to be the nation that's participated in every Olympics ever. Greece is the correct answer. Greece is the only country to have participated under their own flag in every modern Olympic summer games. Greece, correct answer. Round two, question number four. The movie Cool Runnings features the Jamaican track team participating in what? Olympic event. Round two, question number four. Some people say they don't believe Jamaica has a bobsled team. Bobsledding is the correct answer to number four. The track team switches gears, ends up in a bobsled. Classic movie, Cool Runnings, bobsledding, the correct answer, number four. Round two, question number five. Who is credited with being the inventor of the sport of baseball? Think about it. Round two, question number five. If you said James Naismith, you're thinking of the wrong sport. It's not allowed, like a double dribble, but double is included in the answer. Abner Double Day is credited being the inventor of the sport of baseball. Abner Double Day, the correct answer. Round two, question number six. Because both teams lost so many players to World War II military service, these two NFL franchises decided to join and become one team for the 1943 season. What were those two teams? Round two, question number six. The name of that 1943 team was the Steagles. Pittsburgh Steelers plus Philadelphia Eagles. Steelers and Eagles, the correct answer for number six. Round two, question number seven. 
who won the 1994 World Series. Round one, question number seven. While the New York Yankees probably would have been a safe bet considering they've won 27 World Series, they won it in 1996, 1998, 1999, and 2000, they did not win it in 1994. Instead, no one won the 1994 World Series. There was a player strike started in August 12th that led to a cancellation of the World Series. No one was crowned the champion of the MLB that year. No one, the correct answer. Round two, question number eight. While it is not fully confirmed, many believe that this team's logo, which bears a striking resemblance to a musical 64th note, could be related to the city which the team is from being founded in 1764. What is that team? Round two, question number eight. Well, there are two professional sports franchises that have musical notes as their logo. Hopefully you had someone there with a little bit of musical knowledge. The Utah Jazz have a logo that is an eighth note, while a city that was found in 1764 and a team that has a 64th note logo, St. Louis is the city, and the St. Louis Blues are that team. St. Louis Blues, the correct answer to number eight. Round two, question number nine. How many days out of the 365 days of the year feature no American Big Four professional sports games? Round two, question number nine. I will add a caveat to this question. It is based on a regular 365 day calendar sports year, not like the one we are experiencing in 2020. With that being said, out of the 365 days of the year, only two don't feature a game from one of the four big American professional sport leagues. Those two days, are the day before the MLB All-Star Game and the day after the MLB All-Star Game. Those are the only two days out of 365 days of the year that you won't see a game played. Round two, question number 10, and the final question before we move on to the bonus, here it is. The phrase, winning something hands down, originated from what sport? Round two, question number 10. To win something hands down originated in horse racing. When a jockey had a big enough lead that they could let go of the reins on their horse, they were said to be winning it hands down. Hands down, horse racing. Horse racing, the correct answer for number 10. That's it for the first two rounds. Go ahead and figure out those scores and let's go over to the bonus question. We'll see you over there. Here we are at the bonus question of Quarantino 4 in the category mountains. Go ahead and take a second to think about it. Put those wagers in now. You can wager from zero to 10. Mountains, the category for the bonus. Wagers are in, and here is your bonus question. What is the tallest mountain in North America?
Time is up on the bonus question. What is the tallest mountain in North America? Standing at 20,310 feet above sea level, formerly known as Mount McKinley, Denali in Alaska is the tallest mountain, not only in the United States, but in all of North America. Denali, Mount McKinley, the correct answer for the bonus question. Those of you who got it correct, you win your wager. After that bonus question, who is your Quarantino champion for tonight? Let us know in the comments. Let us know how you did. Mount McKinley, Denali, the correct answer for the bonus. Hey guys, thanks so much for playing Quarantino Trivia tonight. I really hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, in fact, have a fun time playing, please like, please subscribe, please comment, please let us know. Your feedback is pivotal, making sure that we can keep this going and continue to grow and get better. I'm Tino, this is Quarantino Trivia. Thanks so much for playing. I can't wait to see you soon from the comfort of your couch. Tino, out.